Good Wednesday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a much better forecast for you as we go into the rest of the what's left of this week. It's looking a lot less in the way of blazing hot temperatures, and it's looking a lot better when it comes to outdoor activities. It's still going to be hot, no question about that, but if you've got any outdoor plans, at least you'll have less in the way of problems from showers and thunderstorms, and you'll have less to worry about where it comes to anything involving very hot as in dangerous dangerously hot weather, so looking a lot better when it comes to problems out there. Can't stick around for the entire forecast. That's cool. Just again, just take a look at what you're looking at here at the blue bar rotating on by. That's your forecast for the Mid-South area, or you can go again to WREG.com for the seven-day forecast. Questions, concerns, ideas about what we can feature on here, let me know. Drop me a line at austin.onic at wreg.com. Coming up in just a little bit, we'll take a look at the forecast for the rest of the day, which is going to be, again, a hot one, but not as dangerous as it was. We'll take a look at how much time is left until we get into the next season. That's autumn coming up pretty soon. And for Elvis Week, if you're in town for that, welcome to the Mid-South area. And hope you're enjoying the area despite the very hot weather. We'll take a look at the candlelight vigil forecast for you coming up here in just a little while. And also a look at the tropics to see if there's anything forming out there for right now. Got any uh, weather reports from around the area? Drop your location, city, state only. You don't need to give your entire mailing address. That's nice of you to trust us with us, but you don't need to do that. Uh, city, state, give us an idea about what the temperature is, what the winds are doing. Drop those into the comments section and we'll read off some of those as we go along for much of the area showing some nicer conditions out there. But again, it's probably going to be again another hot day coming up. We'll talk about that pretty soon. Just over a month to go, 30 days plus to around the autumn countdown for the next season. The autumn equinox kicks in Monday, September 23rd. So we've got a ways to go. Now, just because we're heading for a new season does not mean that we're going to be getting into some cooler weather, seeing some pretty warm Halloweens around here in the course of the last few years or so. Rest of the day today, again, temperatures will be very close to normal for this time of the year. Again, we'll be looking for the possibility of temperatures going back into the mid to upper 80s to lower 90s. And again, that's pretty specifically right on target for this time of the year. So not much of a change being seen out there. High temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s. The humidity out there is going to continue to be rather on the warm side, on the high side. So that's going to bump the heat index temperatures up into the mid to upper 90s, possibly even close to 100 degrees. Now, that does not mean we're going to be getting a heat advisory. It does mean you need to take care while working or exercising outdoors, so please keep that in mind. Ventress Hall on the Ole Miss campus in Oxford, Mississippi, 77 degrees. That's four degrees cooler than what it was about 24 hours ago from former mayor, current meteorologist Sam Reichard's webcam on the Weather Underground Network showing olive branch skies, mostly blue, a few high thin clouds out there, 77 degrees, that's 6 degrees cooler than what it was yesterday at this time. Collierville on the square, a lot of sunlight, a lot of blue skies and some high thin clouds, just below 80 degrees. From around Windy Country Club, a few golfers out and about this morning in southeast Memphis with a few of those clouds off to the south. You can see some of those drifting away, heading away into middle parts of Mississippi. Downtown Memphis looking a lot nicer than what it was, again, about 24 hours ago with clear skies over downtown. Not much going on in the way of major amounts of storms coming our way. Latest cold front sinking its way down to the south and kind of falling apart. A little bit drier air coming on through. You notice north of the Mid-South, a distinct lack of clouds and rainfall. Still some light scattered showers down around Clarksdale, dropping on down to around I-55. And we're going to continue again to monitor a lot of that heading into northern portions of middle Mississippi, close to I-20 at this time down to about Vicksburg almost and dropping close to Jackson. So if you're heading south on I-55 this morning, you might be playing catch up with some of those showers and thunderstorms. Good morning to everybody tuning in for this morning. Hope everybody's having a nicer and drier and a little bit less steamy forecast than what we saw just about 24 hours ago in the Mid-South. Storm Tracker 3S radar, again, little if anything, a few speckles of rainfall. Oxford, Batesville, back toward Clarksdale, Helena, West Helena, that's about as much rainfall as we're talking about for right now. Temperatures, again, not too bad. Doing a lot better than what they were about yesterday at this time. Upper 70s to lower 80s. Winds out of the east-northeast in the metro area. 
looking pretty good. Again, stirring the humidity around, but not necessarily cooling anybody off. These northerly winds will continue today. It will be enough dry air to wring the moisture out and send it all the way down closer to the Gulf of Mexico. Unfortunately, it will not be enough to get rid of all the humidity, so it's still going to feel pretty steamy out there throughout the rest of the day. High temperatures this afternoon going back into and around the area of the mid to upper 80s to lower 90s. And again, that's almost exactly where we should be at this time of the year. All right, checking in with the furthest away award for today, Bernie Walsh from Dublin, Ireland. Welcome from the other side of the pond, and thanks for joining us this morning, and good morning to everybody checking in. If you're just joining us, drop your location and any weather reports you have into the comments section, and we'll read off some of those, like Jeffrey Griffiths, uh, Fair and 75 in Walls, Mississippi. Thank you very much for checking in there. Rest of the day today, again, close to 90 degrees, outdoor football, marching band, soccer, anything going on after school and outside. You're going to have to, again, keep in mind that it's going to be pretty hot out there. Just enough to make it dangerous if you push yourself too hard, so please keep that in mind if you're doing anything out there. Through the evening hours and into early on Thursday morning, dry conditions continue. Northerly winds, very light but dry as some of that air comes in from off the plain states. Doesn't look like any chance of rainfall at least anytime soon, but there will be some out there. Threat of thunderstorms to our south today, and then through the rest of the week toward Friday, better chances of anything involving severe weather will be well back to our north across the Plain States and the I-70 corridor. So if you're heading between, say, central Illinois and back to the east of Denver, all the way across I-70, Friday afternoon and evening could be another outbreak of storms and some pretty decent tornadoes and wind damage up that direction from the storms over the course of the last couple of days. So again, something to take a look at if we're looking at the forecast heading into the areas north of us for right now. Rough night last evening, watching from Corinth, Mississippi, Mill. Mildred Jarrett, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for checking in from there. Hopefully not a lot of damage out there from last night, but reports of that still coming into the newsroom. Temperatures throughout the rest of the next couple of days, again, pretty much close to where they should be, mid to upper 80s to lower 90s, and that'll continue right on in through about Friday or so. Now, by Saturday evening late, we start to see, again, some chances of rainfall coming through. Most of Saturday should be okay, and it's also going to be a lot hotter. Now, does that mean another heat advisory coming on through? Not necessarily. It's possible, but again, not entirely likely at this time. But again, a steamy day coming up nonetheless with numbers back in the lower, possibly a few areas in the mid-90s. So again, outdoor activities, extra ice water, keep on hand would be a good idea. Next week, Sunday and following, should be seeing a possibility of showers and thunderstorms each and every single day. Not great chances, about 20 to 30 percent coverage possible across the area, so not a blanket washout for the area, but just enough to cause some problems. Next Wednesday, about a week away, doesn't look again like we're going to be getting anything here, but this forecast being this far in advance, it could definitely change between now and then. So the best bet you've got, keep it tuned to the weather experts, and we'll keep you updated on that. Otherwise, again, prepare for some hotter weather in the Mid-South as we go into the weekend, and then continued steamy throughout the course of the rest of the next week. Very good news in the tropics, the Gulf, Florida, down toward the Keys, the Caribbean, into the Bahamas, the Western Atlantic, dry at this time, and that is thanks to dry, dusty air coming in from off the Sahara Desert. As long as that continues, that dry air does a very good job of robbing any potential of any development out there. A cyclone developing into the Atlantic or just about anywhere in the world needs a lot of warm, moist air for fuel, and if it's dry air surrounding a storm system that spins its way off of Africa, doesn't really have a chance, and that's what's going on right now as the Sahara Desert has basically all but shut down hurricane season for the last couple of weeks. We've had two named storms so far, Andrea and Barrett, so we don't have anything else coming up right now. We could again see the possibility of more storms into the next several days as we approach the peak of hurricane season. That comes up on September 10th. So again, something to think about if you are going to be traveling toward the coastal areas. And we'll keep you updated, of course, on social media. So stay tuned for more on that. Around the Mid-South area, again, going to be hot and humid again for today. And if you're heading to the Candlelight Vigil at Graceland coming up on Thursday, 
so far looking really good at this time. We've had some blazing hot years out there. Not going to be happening this time around through today and the rest of the forecast looking hot and humid. But so far for the candlelight vigil at Graceland on Thursday evening, no problems being seen there. The latest installment of our environmental blog, Your Environment, is posted at our website, wreg.com slash weather. This week, taking a look at teenage climate activist Greta Thunberg sailing to the United States. And unfortunately, a lot of her detractors are doing a very good job of attacking her personally rather than sticking to the facts on climate change and global warming. Also, if you'd like to know more about air quality in the Mid-South, we talk about that and a lot of other details about how you can help the environment just by clicking on a button and watching some advertising space. So wreg.com slash weather slash environment for more on that. We'll have an update on the forecast again coming up on the late edition of Weather Overtime. That'll be around about 11 o'clock this morning on my Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter pages, so stay tuned for that. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and continuing again to monitor the weather in the Mid-South. Keep it tuned throughout the rest of the morning. Tim and Jim will have your forecast coming up tonight starting on News Channel 3 first at 4 and Todd Demers will be back on daybreak tomorrow morning so stay tuned for his forecast starting Thursday morning at 4:30. Thanks for joining us. Have a safe day. Safe day. Keep cool and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest.